It was in the 70s when I was sent to Malta to do my military service. During the windy nights, I used to walk along the ruins of the Neolithic temples of Hajarim and Minajar to hear the sounds of the nature and the sea smashing into the rocks. Of the many nights spent like that, there was one that I still remember as if it were yesterday. It was cold and rainy. The sky was broken by thunder and lightning. A mellow light was coming from the sea, probably an old fisherman's boat in danger, because of the heavy sea. From far off, a catchy melody attracted my attention. It was a penetrating sound, similar to a baby's crying and alternating to deeper and hoarser voices. Unceasingly, the sound became stronger and louder until it became very close to me. I was attracted by it and pushed by curiosity. I started to move closer. Hit by large rocks and close to the sea, I saw a nest with five or more birds gathered and singing together. I recognised that kind of bird from a book I had read weeks before. They were called Diomedia, and their chant resembles the warrior spirit of Diomede, a Greek mythological hero. All of a sudden their enchanting songs became understandable to me. They were chatting about an island called Filthla. Visible from my position, the islands host fantastic creatures, all of them with unique characteristics. They were emphasising the deeds of a blackbird which lives in the island. It's small and tiny in size, but brave and strong like a hero. It fights against storms and thunder, and it's an important point of reference for sailors to know when a storm is coming. It's black and it likes shrimps. One of the birds told the others of a meeting he had once had with a funny wall lizard. It's unique and he had only met it on Filifla. It likes to take sun on the hot surface of the rocks and to walk along the grass. Maybe it's because of the heavy sun's rays it became all black with some spots dotted on its body, the other bird replied. The youngest of the group told the others of a meeting he had had while he was out on the open sea fishing. He had met huge fish swimming together and jumping in and out of the sea, playing in splashing water. They liked to sing and make strange noises. They are dolphins, the old one replied. They are common in this area and they are really friendly and playful with us. The old bird with a masterly expression continued, telling the youngsters what a relative of his had seen in the island many centuries ago. There was a time when the islands hosted an important shrine, symbol of brave sailors and travellers. The shrine contained a colourful painting of the Madonna. It was a time when Filfla was important, respected and known amongst humans. Unfortunately, the grotto does not exist anymore, because it was heavily bombed by people. Many things went destroyed during these terrible explosions, and fear and panic hit us. The bird noticed my presence, and they looked at me with a terrorised expression. They almost flew away. The old bird understood me without the need of doing anything. He looked at me, and he just said, now you know our tales. <laughs>